Hey guys, welcome back to the Not Only Carrot Show here on YouTube. I'm Leah and today I have a 50 cent vegan lunchbox challenge episode. I'm really excited to share with you, so let's just jump straight into it. But first, special thanks to our sponsor with Extra Veg. It's time for easy school lunches. Check out the Vegan Lunchbox Club. Each week you'll receive new nut-free vegan recipes plus ready-made shopping lists and convenient weekend prep instructions. Join the Lunchbox Club by the link in the description and receive a $20 discount off your annual membership. Discover how to make school lunchboxes easy. Okay guys, our episode today is actually a collaboration with Hope from Under the Median. She runs a YouTube channel that's all about frugality, how to save money and still have lots of joy in your life. Check out the link in the description below to watch her 50 cent lunchbox challenge video. All right, I just wanna jump straight in today. I'm really excited to share with you what I discovered along the way. Now, I created three completely different lunch boxes. Keep in mind that we are talking 50 cents US and being an Australian, my dollar isn't worth quite as much as the US dollar, so I spent 68 Australian cents on my cheap lunch box. All right, so let me run through the rules for today's challenge. Number one, I had to create a lunchbox that was 100% purchased food. I couldn't just go to grandma's house and go and cook with her food and say, yeah, I made a free lunchbox for my child. <laughs> that was not allowed. Number two, we were not going to include the costs of travel or freight and cooking. We needed to make sure that the um, food itself was just the main thing that we were focused on. Number three, I was allowed to spend 68 Australian cents on my lunchbox. I was also aiming as a personal goal to make sure my child, my primary school aged child, had some sort of protein and a piece of fruit plus whole grains. And I also had an additional challenge just to make it super exciting for myself of trying to hit a 500 calorie goal with each lunchbox. So let's just jump straight in. And as we're going along, when you think you've figured out which is my 50 cent lunchbox, leave a comment below and we'll see if you're right by the end. All right, let's start with lunchbox number one. And I will just add a little proviso as I um, begin going through the food. Each one of these lunch boxes contains a bottle of water. I would just pop this into the freezer the night before and have that there as the refrigeration for the lunch boxes in case there was no refrigeration at the schools. I personally decided instead of creating some sort of a cordial or a milk, a soy milk drink, that it was worth putting that money instead into the food that was gonna be filling up the kids' tummies instead of just empty calories. So that was my personal decision there. All right, lunch box number one. Let's dive straight in. Every Australian lunchbox always has a sandwich. So we had to have a sandwich in these lunch boxes. This lunchbox is made from my stone ground whole wheat bread and it has, what have we got? Peanut butter and jelly. In Australia, we call it jam. So we've got peanut butter and jam. There are even some parts in Australia that say peanut paste. So we've got a peanut paste and jam sandwich and we have our reusable resealable Ziploc bag. Plus we've got a little nani. I always enjoyed having my little banana in my school lunchbox. My mum even used to write little messages on it, which was always fun. And for some added goodness, we have some celery sticks and carrot sticks there to go along with my homemade vegan hummus. Hummus is pretty much always vegan. I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> homemade hummus. All right, a couple of tablespoons of that. And this is our lunchbox number one. Now, what would you expect to pay at the school tuck shop or the canteen for this lunch? What do you reckon? I'll tell you, it was eight bucks. Eight bucks! This lunchbox is eight dollars because you'd have to pay for the water as well. It's a dollar on its own. But even if you leave the water out, it's still seven dollars. So lunchbox number one, I reached my 500 calorie goal. I got 541 calories, which is 2,265 kilojoules for my Australian viewers. Maybe lunchbox number one is my 50 cent lunchbox. Maybe. All right, let's try lunchbox number two. This one has a salad sandwich. In fact, it has a vegan tuna salad sandwich made from smashed chickpeas, a couple of tablespoons of home cooked chickpeas, plus a half a tablespoon of my yummy soy mayonnaise, and some lettuce and a couple of slices of fresh tomato, of course, on my stone ground whole wheat homemade bread. Also in a resealable lock bag, Ziploc bag. 
plus for my fruit and a little extra protein, although we do get the protein with the chickpeas, we have some sultanas. You know those cute little boxes of sultanas that you can get? This is the equivalent. I weighed it out at 40 grams plus four raw almonds thrown in there just for a little excitement. And in case that lunch wasn't exciting enough on its own, I've included some herbed salted popcorn in there and it tastes mm, and smells really, really good. Check out my recipe for that one as well. Now, this popcorn, along with the sandwich and the nuts and sultanas, what do you reckon that's gonna cost from the school tuck shop? The lunchbox number two is gonna cost us $6.20 from the school tuck shop. Interesting, a little cheaper than number one. But how many calories? We've got 512 calories, 2,144 kilojoules. All right, on to contestant number three. This is our final lunchbox, guys. We have, we really have to really have an Aussie special included in at least one of our lunchboxes. So we gotta have a Vegemite sandwich. If you don't know what Vegemite is, check out my daughter's episode. She'll teach you how to make the right Vegemite sandwich. So we've got Vegemite on both sides of our bread today, guys, plus a bit of vegan spread. Adds a little extra calories and keeps that bread nice and moist for your little one who's going to eat it at the lunchtime. And we're going to turn that Vegemite sandwich into a Vegemite sandwich extraordinaire. We're going to add to it some baked beans. And I love baked beans. And they can either eat them out with a spoon or just put them on their sandwich. Plus, for our fruit, we have some fresh rock melon, a couple of little pieces of fresh rock melon, and probably the best part, really. I don't know, baked beans or this. Mm, Got to toss it up a homemade vegan sultana cookie. And yes, the recipe is coming. And yes, it's stone ground, whole wheat, and really yummy. All right, so what do you reckon, guys, if you were to purchase this lunchbox at the tuck shop? So it's actually gonna cost me $5.15 from the school tuck shop or the canteen if you're in America. So the calories also hit the 512 mark, so we're gonna be hitting our 2,144 kilojoules also for lunchbox number three. So two and three are hitting the same number of calories. So what do you reckon, guys? Lunchbox number one, lunchbox number two, or lunchbox number three? If you haven't already, make sure you put your guesses in the comments below. Hit pause. All right, I hope they're in, guys. What's it gonna be? <laughs> so exciting. If you picked lunchbox number three, Woo! You're the winner. Lunchbox number three is indeed my 50 cent US lunchbox. Crazy. And it was actually the cheapest one at the school tuck shop, so maybe it was a bit of a giveaway. So I'm sorry to say if you picked lunchbox number two or lunchbox number one, you're also correct. <laughs> you're also correct. In fact, I'm sorry, it was a bit of a trick, guys. Lunchbox number one, two, and three are all 50 cent US lunchboxes. Can you believe it? You could pay up to eight bucks. $8 instead of 50 cents. It's just crazy, or 68 cents Australian. So I hope that you as the viewers are encouraged to see how much money you really could save by making lunches yourself instead of purchasing them all the time from the tuck shop if you happen to do that. But also to see how much variety you can get. You don't have to just have a boring old sandwich for lunch. It can be quite an exciting lunchbox. And if you had leftovers as well, that's another way to create a lunchbox without a sandwich. But if you are interested in seeing some more lunchbox challenges, maybe a $1 lunchbox challenge or a $2 lunchbox challenge or a nut-free, gluten-free lunchbox challenge, let me know in the comments below. I actually had a heap of fun. I was such a maths nerd for this episode planning. I had the most epic Excel spreadsheet you can imagine. I was working at all of the prices per kilo and what that would work out of this and how many calories in that and how do I make sure I don't go over my 68 cents. <laughs> it was absolutely epic and really, really fun. So thank you so much to Under the Median for joining me for this collaboration effort. Make sure to check out her video too and leave a comment letting them know that you came all the way from Not Only Carrots. Okay guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Click the bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Like the video, leave that comment if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, what do you guys reckon? Which one would you pick? The kids can see. You have to only pick one. You can't toss and change them. You'd have that one? But I like or if, that. Or if you could mix and match, what would you do? Um, 
even though cost-wise it would change. <laughs> what do you reckon? What if you really truly couldn't change it? I tried to have them all of a crunchy treat. This one has a crunchy veggie treat. Yeah. This one's got the crunchy popcorn. Yeah, this has got the crunchy bicky. I would want fruit, uh, like watery fruit. You'd want watery fruit. And a biscuit. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all.